What's going on, everybody, and welcome to Hoops With Us podcast. Today, I am joined by a very special guest from the class of 2022, Avery Brown. Avery, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, Alex? I appreciate you having me. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Thanks for joining, man. No so, doubt. Avery, we'll start off by talking about this quarantine, man. Uh, just tell us what you've been doing during this quarantine to keep yourself busy and keep yourself in basketball shape. Yeah, man, I, I just been grinding every day. Um, ever since being out of school in March, I, I've been in the gym. I'm fortunate to have a gym. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a great process. I, I gained a few pounds of muscle. You know, I'm getting stronger, faster, quicker. Um, yeah, every aspect of my game has, has gotten better. So, you know, it's been a blessing in disguise, really. For sure, man, yeah. A lot of guys that are taking advantage of this time right now uh, yeah. to get better because there's just so much free time. So, that's great. It's great. Yeah, no doubt. All right, Avery, so for everyone out there that hasn't seen you play before, just describe your game for us, if you could. Um, I'm a six-foot point guard. Um, you know, I could, I could score that well. I love getting my teammates involved. Uh, I defend. Um, I'm, a, I'm a winner, really. I like to compete. That's, that's really how I describe my game. I'm a competitor. And, uh, yeah, I just want to win and do anything I can to have my team win. And uh, that's my mission at the end of the day. You know, just leave the court. We'll have it without having any regret, regrets. Um, so that's, that's really my game, really. For sure, man. So, Avery, if you could just break down your recruitment for us, uh, tell us who you have offers from, and uh, how has the overall recruitment process been going for you so far? Yeah, uh, about now I have about 15 offers right now. Um, the recent ones have been uh, St. John's, Penn State, uh, Holy Cross, uh, St. Louis, um, I have a few Ivies, Yale, Columbia, Brown, UPenn. Um, yeah, that's at top of my head, really. I, I keep track, I lose track of the school on top of my head. But, um, yeah, the recruitment class has been real steady. Um, you know, I've been talking to a lot of coaches daily. Um, I, I've been talking to Missouri, uh, UConn, Providence, Stanford, uh, Indiana. Uh, so, you know, I, I keep in contact with a lot of coaches daily and just build relationships. <clears throat> oh, man, absolutely. So June 15th was the first day that college coaches could start reaching out to guys in the class of 2022 like yourself. I know you just mentioned a few, but who are some new schools that you have been in contact with that may have not offered yet? Yeah, uh, Missouri. Um, like I said, uh, me and Coach Martin, uh, we've been in a great relationship. I, I just got off the phone with him uh, a few minutes ago. Um, so, yeah, this UConn, uh, Providence, uh, Indiana, Coach Flint. Um, so there's been a few schools, Stanford, a few schools who hasn't offered yet, but we keep in contact daily. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, keep my head down and keep working. I know they're going to come eventually. And uh, really just keep building relationships, especially with, like, the head coach. Um, but that's what's most important. Absolutely, for sure. So you attend uh, Northfield Mount Hermon. Just tell us how this past season went for you guys as a team and how you think that you grew as a player individually. Yeah, uh, this past season, you know, we finished final four and fourth in the country. Um, we lost Putnam Science in the final four. Um, but, you know, we, we had a great season, I, I, I would say. We overachieved, really. If you ask us from the start where we'll end up, not too many people say we'll end up fourth in the country. And, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a great season. You know, I learned a lot. I matured, uh, got better. Uh, you know, it was, it was a great season, for sure help. For sure, man, for sure. So – for even though you haven't played with them yet, you're part of the PSA Cardinals family. Uh, yeah. What's it like being a part of that family? I know, like I just said, you haven't gotten a chance to get on the floor with those guys, but what is yeah. it like being a part with uh, with those guys? No, yeah, it's a great it's a great feeling being a part of the PSA. Um, you know, Munch and I, Coach Mark, we all we all have a great relationship. I talk to Munch every day, uh, literally every single day. Um, and you know, that's that's my guy, it's my big homie. So, uh, you know, I trust him, and he trusts me. And uh, all the coaches, you know, we have each other's back. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great, great atmosphere in the PSA community. We It's a brotherhood, really. You know, a lot of people say that a lot of programs. But, you know, in PSA, it's really a brotherhood. You know, we all got each other's back. You know, we show love. Everybody get an offer or article. You know, we all retweet it. We try to help each other as much as we can. And uh, that's what it's all about, really, um, just having your brothers back. Absolutely, man. What are you looking forward to most about getting on the floor with the PSA guys once you eventually do? Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it, you know. I've been keeping in contact with my uh, teammates the past few months now. Um, you know, we text each other all the time in our group chat. And we all just looking forward to go out there and compete and I win. And, you know, our squad is real heavy. Um, we believe we won the PCM. If there was one this year, we almost definitely win the 16U. 
And, um, you know, you just got to get ready for next year, 17U. Um, that's, that's a big stage. And, you know, I know all of our guys are preparing for that stage. So I can't wait to, I can't wait to go out there and compete at the highest level. For sure, man. Absolutely. So, Avery, let's break down your game a little bit, man. Uh, yeah. Combo guard, like you said, you score at will. You love to score, and you're good at it as well. Uh, uh -huh. You're great at facilitating, getting your teammates involved. Uh, yeah. You also said you really take pride in your defense as well. You're picking up guys 94 feet, making them uncomfortable. Uh, the question I have for you, man, is what are some parts of your game that you would say go a little bit unnoticed that a lot of people don't talk about? Um, A little bit unnoticed? I'll say – you know, I, I I really took pride in, like, this past season, you know, um, getting better at, like, the, the mental part of the game, um, like, knowing where where my teammates should be, um, picking our spots. I feel like I really improved in that aspect of the game. So I feel like that can go unnoticed, too. Um, like, the my IQ, I believe, is real high. And uh, I think that's what separates me from a lot of uh, prospects, to be honest, if, if you ask me. Um, and I think that's what makes me special in a way. So, yeah. For sure, man. Absolutely. So a lot of guys your age and guys in high school, they like to watch NBA guys try and take bits and parts of their game, try and mold it into their own. Who are some, yeah, NBA, yeah, yeah. Guys, who are some NBA guys that you like to watch? I like to watch uh, a lot of John Morant. Uh, me and him are real close. Um, Jamal Murray, uh, you know, Chris Paul, uh, Jante Murray, his defense. And, you know, I just really pick, and pick uh, like, spots of everybody's everybody's game, especially point guards, you know, just try to put it in my game, you know. Um, so watch, I've been watching a lot of film. Shout out to Spike. You know, we before this quarantine really started, um, he shared a whole Google Drive with me of, like, pick and rolls with John Moran and Jamal Murray and all the guards that I told him I want to watch uh, film of. And, you know, I've been breaking that down and putting it in my workouts and working on it for the past few months now. So, you know, I'm really uh, developing and transferring my game to a real pro level. Um, even though I'm in high school, I'm getting ready for that level. You know, I'm going to college soon, and, you know, I want to be at the pro. I want to be a pro at the end of the day uh, playing the NBA, and I know that day will happen. So, you know, just got to keep working. Absolutely. Sure. All right, Avery, last question that I have for you today, man. What are some goals that you want to set for yourself and as a team for next season? Uh, yeah, um, you know, most definitely just win. Uh, win a NEPSAC championship. Win a national championship. You know, we came to the Final Four last year. Um, but, you know, we want to get higher, keep climbing the ladder. And uh, really just – I want to make sure I make my teammates better. Um, I want to – at the end of the season, I want to say that I made my teammates better. Teammates better and I, uh, at the end of every day, you know, I gave them my all. Because uh, I know if I do that, I'll make them better and I'll make myself better. So um, that's really my contribution to my teammates. Uh, and I feel, I'm, if that happens, I'm happy. You know, that's that's what I care about. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll say win Gatorade play of the year, NEPSAC play of the year, all those personal goals, you know. I want to be the best. Uh, so, you ask me, I want to compete against everybody, you know. I know there's a lot of guys who who uh, in our league that, you know, get a lot of recognition and, uh, and the rankings and all that. But I know just know that come, I'm coming for them. So, you know, that's, that's really it. Yes, sir. All right, man. Well, Avery, I can't thank you enough for joining me on the show, man. It was great talking yeah. to Northfield Mount Hermon basketball with you. Uh, wish you nothing but the best of luck in your next season coming up, and looking forward to staying in touch, my guy. Yeah, no doubt. I'll see you soon, Alex. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, no doubt, man. Stay safe. Uh, no doubt. All right, bro.